So, hi folks, Mr. Hickey here. Uh, just want to finish off what we were what we were doing in our last class, which was looking at the treaty. And I suppose um, what I would look at today now are the main clauses of the Anglo-Irish Treaty. What exactly did Griffith and Collins get for Ireland? Well, from this point on, the new Irish state would be called the Irish Free State. Number two, British Crown forces would, would withdraw from Ireland for the first time in 800 years. So, they're gone. Ireland would become a co-equal dominion of the British Empire. In other words, we would have the same status as Canada, Australia, and there's ourselves. We are now a dominion of the British Empire. Uh, much to the disappointment of die-hard Republicans back home. Number four. We would get our own currency, the pound or Irish punt. Because we would have full economic freedom, unlike the other dominions. Another blow to Republicans back home. Number five, the head of state would remain the British monarch. He or she would be represented by the governor general. And I suppose if you look at other countries, even today, places like Australia still have a person that represents the crown. Uh, a governor general. Okay, that's the, the current one in Australia. Now, another thing uh, Republicans would find hard to swallow would be members of the new Free States Parliament would be required to take an oath of allegiance. First to the Constitution and secondly to King George V, his heirs and successors. Now, as I said here, I suppose the British did give some allowance here in that they permitted that the oath in question would be taken to the Free State Constitution first and then the King. But of course, that's not going to be good enough for, for uh, Republicans at home. And I suppose it will be one of the main causes of the Civil War, which you'll be looking at uh, later this week. There is the wording of the of the oath. Of course, Dev will not take it. Collins is prepared to take it at this point. Now, Northern Ireland, uh, I suppose, as we saw in class, the matter of Northern Ireland, um, the delegation were led to believe would be sorted out by the Boundary Commission. However, if for any reason that does not work out, um, it will copper fasten or strengthen partition between the two states. Number eight, as mentioned, yeah, a boundary commission would redraw the border between North and South. And I suppose in a, in a way, this was controversially accepting partition. And again, I, I stress the word controversy and controversial throughout these lessons because it's often a question they ask at higher level. Why was the Anglo-Irish Treaty controversial? Number nine. Um, now, Britain, for its own security, would continue to control three free state ports known as the Treaty Ports. So they were uh, Loxwilly in Donegal, and two in Cork, Bearhaven and Queenstown, uh, today called Cove. And they would remain under British control until 1938. And of course, uh, that is a significant date, and we'll deal with that at a, at a later stage when those ports are returned. Now, what did supporters of Collins think of the treaty? What did supporters of Dev think of the treaty? Well, I suppose on Collins' side, you know, uh, they, they felt it was, you know, the best deal that could be got and would be a stepping stone to future freedom. Like the Dominion status was not an end point. 
However, on Dev side, diehard Republicans would see the treaty as a betrayal of everything the men of 1916 had fought for. And I suppose this will lead to the Irish Civil War very shortly. And I suppose if we were in class now, I'd be asking your opinions. What sides would he, would he fall on? Okay, I suppose you can make up your own mind at this point. Okay, all right, lads. So um, again, uh, let's see if this works. I'm going to post this on YouTube and hopefully um, we can work away through, through, these, through these strange uh, times, you know, and, uh, you know, that um, we, we, we'll keep you on track for your leaving subject exam. So all the best and we'll, uh, we'll talk soon. Stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, bye-bye.